Hi Aries, welcome to your tarot reading for the week beginning October 9th until the 16th. It's Rena here and I've never done uh, a weekly tarot reading, I don't think. I'm trying to slip in something topical before I go into my November love readings, which um, I'm sure I'll be posting sometime next week. But I did want to post um, a set of videos before then. And I felt like this would be a better fit for the time period. And obviously, you can see I've already laid out the cards because I've started this video so many times, it's not funny. The time before this, it was like 10 minutes into it. So, uh, yeah. And the other thing I wanted to say is that if you've been following my readings for some time, you may have noticed that I usually use my Pamela... Um, now, what is it called? Why does I say Pamela? Um, these are Pamela Coleman as the illustrations, but um, the Morgan Greer deck. And that deck is pretty faithful to this, to this Rider Waite deck, which is the classic depiction of the cards drawn by Pamela Coleman Smith. So that's different than I normally do. Okay, so the overall message or the heart of the, the matter is the Six of Pentacles. And this is a card, you can see that this man is royalty, he's in the upper class, and he's giving financial resources to beggars. And this is, and he's also holding the scales, so there's some issue of fairness, like give and take in terms of these cards. I feel that because the past position has the Ace of Pentacles, and this could be a job offer, uh, you see the portal that's like going through into a new life. And uh, sometimes this can be that you receive a sum of money, but it can also be a new job. And it could even be your partner's new job that you are dealing with this, these issues of give and take. Jupiter is going into Scorpio on the 10th, okay? So that's going to be your 8th house of other people's money, which can include inheritances, but also divorce settlements and, I guess, loans and dividends, maybe passive income. But if your spouse has a new job and they're making more money, that affects you. So that could be that. But the point, the larger point of all this is that you could be receiving a job offer, but you're not sure you're going to take it because you want to make sure that you're getting what you deserve financially. So you may be kind of negotiating. I feel like whatever is happening, it's going to be a success because we have here the chariot card, which deals with um, being really single-minded as to your goal. And in this case, it could be an outcome where there's fairness in the distribution of wealth or, you know, resources. In some cases, in some marriages, we're looking at a situation where one person may be wishing to stay home with their children and the other person, or maybe it's already begun, and the other person is it's possible the other person is kind of lording it over them. And if you're in that situation, um, that may feel very oppressive. I did get this card uh, for one of the outcome cards. It's a card of anxiety. So take all of these cards as symbolism for what may be going on, themes of your life at the moment. But definitely... Don't get too literal because that's when things can be um, distorted, to say the least. The chariot card also connects the sign of cancer, and I did get um, a cups here which relates to cancer. And uh, this is the card of marriage, the happy home, and it could be a wedding uh, the restored harmony within the family. So 
in some, you know, maybe not all, every case, but perhaps someone has decided to raise their children and before they were uh, in a high-powered career, perhaps. Maybe that was you. And you decided that it would be better. Maybe you just couldn't take it anymore. Being away from your children, you decided to raise them. And that has produced a, a positive effect in your family. But there's still that issue of who is earning the money and who is having to ask for the money. And if there is that kind of dynamic happening, then that needs to be addressed because the person who um, makes some money may be lording it over the other person. And in some cases, if that person who's earning the money doesn't like their job, they may feel resentful and think that the person who's staying home with the children haven't made and hasn't made and um, that it's unfair for them, you know. So talking about the scales, and may, they may feel like they're the ones that are that they're the one that is being oppressed, so to speak. And with that ten of cups, it's like because I'm I'm getting this card of anxiety, and it's like you may be saying, "Here I am," and I feel this sense of like I'm staying home with the children. And it feels like so good. And then now your spouse is giving you a hard time. So depending on what the Ace of Pentacles reveals. Now the Ace of Pentacles could be that your spouse got a new job and that allowed you to stay home. Because it's a significant increase in that person's income. But it's, it's always possible that that person agreed to something, but secretly resented it. Now, um, the Nine of Swords is a card of insomnia and the time when, you know, in the middle of the night when people, like the dark night of the soul. And it's funny for Aries because Aries is a sign of autonomy. Aries is a cardinal sign. It's a fire sign. And both of those elements indicate somebody who really um, is good at making their own rules and doing their own thing. And yet when an Aries person gets into a relationship, they're automatically having to think of another person. And depending upon your particular situation, you may have felt especially if you've just gotten married, that you made a mistake. Uh, you may have felt that the other person misrepresented themselves. And the other thing, too, is that um, there may be issues. Uh, I, that was the other thing that I didn't bring up, is that in some cases it could be an issue of one person being out of work. Maybe, um, and it, especially if the person who is out of work is a man and you are a female Aries, you may feel like this person is giving you a hard time. Now, with this card, we're talking about a lot of good things. Maybe it's like um, financial benefits, but it's on the emotional end. So how do we go from this to this? Well, it, it might, remember, let's not get caught up in timelines here, even though I have specified that it's supposed to be in this order. Sometimes when I'm doing these readings, I can clearly see that some of the things may be backwards even. So you may um, be feeling that oppression. It may not be something that's coming in the future. You may be feeling this right now, Aries. You may be feeling that you got married to somebody who either wants to control you and keep you at home when you want to work or who doesn't understand that you don't judge them for being out of work and that you're not trying to belittle them 
they may be very touchy about the fact that you're earning money and they're not. Or if they're working, that you're making more money than them. And it's interesting because I did pick a clarification card and I got the Eight of Cups. And this is a card of walking away from the situation. So because of this, you may have thought it was a good situation and it turned out not to be. Um, it, perhaps you were impulsive and you got you moved in with somebody right away and hadn't really gotten to know them very well. In the workplace, this can be a situation where you get what you want and everything seems like it's going well and yet perhaps um, you have to, your partner makes you leave this situation and that gives you anxiety and either you leave the job or you leave that person. So this is not meant to be just for this week. I'm just posting it for this week. But I want you to think about these themes, uh, you know, because they may come to you in a different way. You may be dealing with feeling at your workplace that you're doing work more work um, than you're getting paid to do. Maybe you're, you feel like you're just not getting paid enough and you don't think it's fair. And it's like uh, the other thing too is that this card can indicate that you get what you want but then you're still left wanting. Uh, something is still bothering you and you decide to leave. And it could be that if there's any kind of bad blood where you're working, um, especially if you had to get a mediator, and so, for some reason when I looked at that card, I, I said mediator in my mind. So you may have tried to work it out with a third party and got what you wanted, but either the, the, your boss, your superior is giving you a hard time and they're resentful because you, you know, kind of like called them out with the upper management and they felt like you made them look bad or something along those lines. But the thing is that it's really beautiful because this is a card that's like walking away from some situation that doesn't serve you anymore. You did have a full moon in your sign. I'm recording this on the 6th and it happened yesterday. So for Aries people, even during this very brief time span of a week, you may be dealing with issues of endings. And whether you've actually gone through with it, you may be like, I'm done because I don't feel like I'm getting what I deserve. And this could even be in terms of your relationship, even if it's a fairly new relationship, you may feel like it just started out so well and it's devolved into something that keeps you up at night. So I hope you enjoyed this, Aries. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. Otherwise, have an awesome week. Bye.